Look at this control chart. Here, the person who's created it has been successful in bifurcating his control charts into control chart into two segments: pre-project process behavior and post-project improvement behavior. If you can see the green line depicting the mean is shifted down. In this case, if this was the average of the defects, this has gone down further, showcasing improvement. This is a great way of showing pre and post improvement or distinguishing process performances basis subgroup. Let me help you understand how do you make this chart. For this example, I've, I've used two data. One was the pre-project defect data. The other was post-project or post-improvement data. When you are constructing a C-chart, if you were to do this pre and post control charts, you would first need to stack the information. So first, go to data, stack, columns, select pre and post. Either you can choose the new stacked information to be part of a new worksheet, or you can say columns in the current worksheet. I see that C3 and C4 are empty. I put C3 and C4, pressed OK. If you see a new data is created, this is my stage and this is the defect count. Now go and construct the control chart. Go to stats, control charts, attribute chart, C chart, select C3. In order to add the subgroup, go to C chart options, go to stages, and here you would need to do C4, the subgroup that you would want to differentiate the control chart with respect to. Press OK, OK, here you go. It makes a, a blue line distinguisher between the two different subgroups that you are comparing it against. All control charts have this facility and this is a great way of looking at process performances. I hope this simple video helps you create control chart for subgroups.